Wealth is not just categorized using the wealthiest people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. As we all know, there are some families who actually brag of seen amounts of riches due to their family lineage. These families are the wealthiest in the world, controlling everything from banks to what you eat, drink, watch, read, and wear. These are families that no one really reads about in Hollywood magazines but have more money than the occupants of Hollywood combined. Today, we'll find out who exactly are these families and what influence and wealth do they actually possess. Let's see who these families are. Number 10. The Walton Family The Walton family is still one of the wealthiest in the world today despite their notoriety. They own one of America's largest enterprises and stores, Walmart, which contributed significantly to their wealth. You might be asking yourself, how rich is this family? Well, the Walton family has been the richest family in the world since 2021 with an estimated combined net worth of $250 billion. Despite the estimate, the Walton family's wealth remains a mystery. Walmart, which Sam Walton founded in 1962 in Arkansas, had global revenues of $524 billion in 2021 and employed more than 2.3 million Americans. If Walmart employees were brought together, they would form an entire city. And as of May 2022, the corporation had 4,742 locations in the United States and about 10,500 stores overall. Number 9. The Mars Family Mars is a multi-generational family business that is incredibly well-known. It is like Walmart for candy. Franklin Mars created Mars Inc. in 1911, 111 years ago. When Mars was a small boy, his mother taught him how to hand-dip chocolate candy. Today, the company is well-known for its M&M &M brand and its eponymous Mars Bar. It is the largest candy firm in the world after it diversified in 2017 when it paid $9.1 billion for VCA, a pet care business. Jack Line and John Mars, whose grandfather, Franklin Mars, founded the business, keep climbing on the Forbes list of billionaires and each has a net worth of $31.7 billion. Surprisingly, the fourth generation of Mars family members, even some of their children, are currently in charge of the business. The Mars family is still somewhat a mystery because they are media shy and avoid the spotlight. Number 8. The Rothschild Family During the Napoleonic era, the Rothschild family became one of the richest families in the world. It was all started by Rothschild Mayor Amschel. He established a sizable banking organization and his own financial empire in Germany. He then outlined his management principles in a will for his inheritors, and since then, the Rothschild family has followed these guidelines for more than 200 years. Some believe they control all financial institutions and the world's capital. Others contend that the Rothschilds encourage and finance the majority of wars. It is estimated that the Rothschild family has $410 billion in assets. They manage banking and commerce, own multiple vineyards, and operate businesses that produce oil and gas. Number 7. The Koch Family Charles Koch owes his enormous wealth to an oil company his father founded, but today he is probably better known to the public for his involvement in politics. He has used his deep pockets to put his mark on it by supporting conservative candidates, funding university professorships, and lobbying for policy positions. Charles worked in partnership with his brother David until David's passing in 2019. According to Forbes' list of the wealthiest people, Charles and David Koch's widow Julia tied on the Forbes list with a combined estimated net worth of $60 billion. The Koch brothers are known for being notorious for influencing American politics with their enormous fortune. They are described as very, very ardent libertarians who want to downsize the government, lower taxes, especially their own taxes, and reduce regulations on all kinds of industries. They have such a broad and pervasive influence that they practically serve as a third political party. Number 6. The Hermes Family The Hermes Group is a leading household in the luxury goods sector and has survived for more than a century. After going public in 1993, their annual revenue climbed from $82 million to $2 billion. According to Forbes, at least five family members are now listed among the world's billionaires. With its distinctive scarves, ties, perfumes, and recognizable Kelly and Birkin handbags, the French fashion house and luxury retailer Hermes has wowed the globe. And by the way, LeBron James and other basketball greats are nowadays dressed by the brand. Number 5. Al Saud The savvy royal family, known as the House of Saud, has a long tradition of monarchy. So far, they are estimated to have a fortune of around $100 billion. Majority of the income for the reigning monarchy comes from the massive oil deposits that were discovered 7 to 5 years ago. This discovery changed the country's economy and made the House of Saud the richest family on earth. The family is well known for leading an idyllic lifestyle, which has repeatedly drawn harsh criticism for being wastefully lavish and pompous. 
With Saudi Aramco the largest and most successful corporation in the world and a major player in the oil sector, it guarantees the Saudi royal family that they will continue to amass a fortune. Number 4. The Ambani Family The family's fortune is based on Reliance Industries, a family-run corporation that was founded by Durapai Ambani. However, after his death, his two sons, Anil and Nukesh, struggled for control of the empire as he didn't leave any will. Luckily, their mother Kaklaban intervened to assist them in coming to an agreement to divide the company and go their separate ways. Since that time, Mukesh and his family have amassed incredible wealth, while Anil is unable to work due to mounting debt. Mukesh has created enormous empires out of his reliance businesses. He has developed beyond the oil and energy industries he inherited. And by the way, while expanding into new markets, Mukesh has not allowed his oil, gas, petrochemical, and textile manufacturing enterprises to suffer. Number 3. The Bofringer and von Bombach family Bofringer and Gelheim is the biggest pharmaceutical firm in Germany and one of the biggest in the world. The business has a more than 130-year history, and the von Bombach and Bofringer families jointly control it. The company has its headquarters in Gelheim and employs over 50,000 people around the world through more than 146 affiliates. The company created lactic acid in 1893 as scientists were experimenting with the synthesis of citric acid. The firm produced lactic acid on an industrial scale within two years, making the Bofringer family extremely successful and wealthy. The Bofringer and von Bombach family is renowned for keeping things private, so the business is still run and owned by the family. Based on typical profits, the company, if it were publicly traded, would have a market value of about four to five billion dollars. Number two, the Rockefeller family. The Rockefeller family is one of the families whose name is most closely associated with the international influence and intrigue of the Rothschilds. John D. Rockefeller was born in a little town in New York to a con artist father and a devoutly religious mother. At the age of 17, he started working as a bookkeeper at a small fruit company. Rockefeller put in long hours and enjoyed the complexity of the task, but he also had a good eye for money and budgets. Rockefeller and his brothers entered the oil refining industry at a time when everyone else was busy trying to get oil from the ground. However, there was very little infrastructure for the actual refining of oil into fuel and other products. This is where the Rockefeller family entered the picture. So, after he founded Standard Oil in 1870, his wealth skyrocketed, and he eventually had control over 90% of the oil pipelines and refineries in the United States. Since then, the family continues to enjoy the billions and influence inherited. Number 1. The Morgan Family It is hardly surprising that John Pierpont Morgan became a banker because he was born into a family of bankers. But unlike his father, John would go on to build J.P. Morgan & Company, one of the most significant financial firms in the world, the U.S. economy appeared to be about to collapse during a fear in 1893 over the export of excess gold from the U.S. to other countries. Yet, in these desperate circumstances, John spotted an opportunity that no one else did. Morgan assembled a group of financiers, among them the Rothschilds, and used U.S. bonds to repurchase gold from overseas investors, restoring public confidence in the U.S. currency and stabilizing the economy. By effectively controlling the U.S. gold supply through this gold and bond exchange, Morgan was able to finance the establishment of U.S. Steel and General Electric while eliminating all rivals, effectively seizing control of two of the most significant financial sectors in the entire country, steel and electricity. And because of his control over the nation's gold supply at a time when the dollar's value and consumer prices were influenced by the gold standard, Morgan was able to amass billions of dollars to affect both the domestic economy and most other economies around the world. Well, even if they control the world, most of these families have companies that are changing our lives. Their influence on our everyday existence is felt to this very day. Which other influential family do you think fits in this list? And which among them intrigued you the most? Hope you enjoyed, see you next time.